And now to a fight over a tiny house in Detroit after a woman refuses to leave. She says the eviction is not about rent and claims this is all rooted in retaliation against her. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is at the tiny home on Detroit's west side with her story. I love it. I love living here. What's the best part of living here? Um, it, it keeps me centered as far as not collecting a lot of things. Tara Brown loves her home, but she's in a bitter battle over the tiny house with Cass Community Social Services and its executive director, Reverend Faith Fowler. I definitely am going to go down swinging because this is nonsense. And like I said, the buck needs to stop here. In this tiny home community near the lodge and Webb Street, residents pay rent and anyone who remains for seven years will be given the opportunity to own their home. Brown says she's never been late on rent and she claims Reverend Fowler wants her out because she's been critical of how the community for low income residents is being managed. She's even blatantly accusing Reverend Fowler of fraud, something Fowler has adamantly denied. It's almost like serfdom here. Everybody here gets a service from her just about, and she uses that to control them. You know, if you don't work for her, your food box comes from her, and I don't take anything from her. By no means am I rich, but yeah, no, I don't want your food box. Fowler has gone on record before saying Brown's lease was not renewed because she does not live here the majority of the time. And like I've told her, I've been a property manager. You manage property, you don't manage people. My comings and goings are none of your business. The group Detroit Eviction Defense has been supporting Brown's fight to stay in her tiny house. So Cass Community and Faith Fowler make these promises that we're going to provide a path to home ownership for people facing homelessness, right? And encouraging people that you can come here and you can find a way to, you know, make it through. But then when you get here, if you don't follow her rules, if you dare to speak to the media, if you dare to make a complaint or try to organize with your neighbors, they'll put you out in the street. And just yesterday, a judge signed the order giving Brown 10 days to move out. It says I'm supposed to move in 10 days. What are you going to do? I don't know. We'll see. Missing dialysis could potentially kill me. I don't want to be in a fight with her about this house, but I will. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.